I'm here with Brad Baldwin, Cub Master at Okanichi Council's Cub Scout Pack 365 in Nightdale, North Carolina. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about his position in the pack. So hey Brad, can you tell us a little bit about your position as Cub Master? Sure. Um... I'm the uh, Cub Master at Pack 365. Uh, basically, what I do is I um, help the den leaders uh, make sure they have everything they need to have it run a successful den meeting. I, uh, Tuesday nights, we meet Tuesday nights from 7 to 8. And just make sure they have everything they need to uh, do what they do on a regular basis. Uh, like if they need to have room or do I reserve the rooms that they're going to be using. Uh, if they want to move outside and do stuff outside, they do, we do that. Uh, and I also help uh, facilitate uh, where we go camping and stuff like that with the, uh, re with the other key, key three leadership. Um, and just make sure we have a good, solid, uh, gold standard uh, program that we have going so far. So Brad, how much of a time commitment is it to be Cub Master? Well, the old saying is one hour a week, but uh, it's a little bit more than that. Um, it, it, it depends on how much time you want to put into it. Uh, the more time you put in it, the best, the more uh, productive uh, pack you're going to have. Um, it's averaged me, I would say, maybe four or five hours a week because uh, you got to fill out paperwork and reserve rooms and stuff like that. Then you got to answer questions that den leaders might have um, and go to scout shop for various things. But it's not, that's very rare. But, um, and all in all, it's not very much during a, a given week time. Um, if you stay on top of what you need to do, it's less time. It all depends on how much you want to put into the, the program. So, Brad, what kind of resources are available to you to help you with being a Cup Master? Oh, there's a lot of training or uh, uh, resources available. Uh, training. Uh, you have Wood Badge, it's a national uh, course uh, that does extensive training in how to deal with parents and, and uh, kids and stuff like that, how to resolve issues. You have University of Scouting, uh, which is a local council thing um, that gives you uh, individual specifically uh, training like den leader training, uh, cub master training, um, and so on, how to, how to, pu how to put it up a tent. Um, how to hammock at camp. I mean, just all the all different kinds of things. There's a whole whole list of things you can do. And that's just one thing of training with uh, University of Scouting. But there's lots of resources out there available for any leader or any stage of leader that they can use. So, as a Cub Master, who helps you in your position? Uh, starting out would be my um, the starting out as a Cub Master. Uh, I relied heavily on my the Cubmaster I replaced, uh, and when I first was a assistant Cubmaster, but even when I became Cubmaster, if I had any questions and anything, I still relied on him because uh, he was around. Uh, I also have key three of the other key three leadership, which would be the COR and the committee chair. Um, they're there, uh, and then, I mean you can always reach out to the uh, the scout office. Um, or, I mean, you can even ask another uh, another pack if you needed help. There's there's so many people where it's a scout family. Uh, if you have a question, you can you can reach out and ask, and people would be there willing and able to help you if you need it. And as a Cub Master, do you feel that this role has had an impact on the scouts in the pack? Uh, I'd like to think so. I mean, you don't really know until they get older and, and, and maybe someone comes back and tell you whatever. But uh, I know it has an impact on me. Uh, when I see uh, kids, you know, on our camping trip and they're all walking down the road and they're all hand in hand, arm around each other, you're just walking and just being each other, being with each other and, and having a good time, smile on their faces um, you know, laughing and cutting up and telling jokes around the campfire um, or at the den meetings when they're sitting there, you know, playing there, doing their skits and stuff and and just watching them uh, grow into the leaders that they're fig they're going to be uh, has had a great impact on me and my outlook on the youth today. So, yeah, it's definitely had an impact. 
And you've kind of already touched on this one, Brad, in the last question, but do you feel that this role has had an impact on your life? Absolutely. Uh, my, I have two kids in scouts right now. I have an older youth that is uh, 12. She's in the troop level, a female, a little girl, uh, and she's come so long, so, so far. Uh, she used to be really dependent on mom, dad, and other people. Now, I mean, she puts up her own tent. She, you know, packs all her bag. I, I, all I ask her, are you ready to go camping? And she says yes, and she throws her stuff in the truck, and she's ready to go. I don't have to pack anything. I don't have to do that. She's gotten very independent. Um, mom kind of doesn't like that too much and everything, because she still wants, but it's a great thing. She loves it. Uh, my younger scout, I have a bear now. Um, he's just, I've seen him change so much and getting a lot more responsible and, and more outgoing. It, it helps him talk to more people and because he started as a lion, um, and now he's a bear. So he, he's come a long way. So it has definitely had an impact on, on our family. Well, thank you so much, Brad, for taking the time to share your experiences of being a Cub Master in Pack 365. For all of our viewers, if you think this is a position that you would be willing to volunteer for, please reach out for your leadership team. There's a good chance they're looking for someone to help grow and build our pack into the future. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being a part of Scouting. Wait, put that down! <laughs>